Hey, good morning, tubers. It's a little bit early in the morning and I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on my Powerwall. Basically, for the last four days or so, we've had some super hot weather here in Brisbane. Uh, lots of kick-ass storms and stuff like that. And we've been running one air conditioner, which is the only one I've got on batteries, 24-7 uh, for the last four days. Now, we've been drawing down a lot from the batteries. Um, the air conditioner itself draws 800 watts constantly, and because it's the only air conditioner on it in the whole house, it runs constantly. So if the bedroom door was shut, the room that it's in, obviously it'd shut down every 15 minutes and stuff, so it would only be running at, say, 30% duty cycle, but it's running at 100%, and it's really hurt my batteries. And it's got me thinking, how much degradation has happened to my batteries since I installed them? and it might be time to actually put some effort into doing a full test. Uh, do a full flat to um, recharge charge on the, t on the batteries. Uh, crank as many amps, as, amps into them as I possibly can. While I'm at it, grab the thermal camera out and keep a close eye on all the cells, see if I've got anything hot. Um, of course, you only see when it's un under duress, whether you've got a problem usually, I guess. Now, if I bring you in here and it's a little bit dark, I haven't got any lighting. Uh, so the time is 5.33 in the morning. And as you can see there, now I don't have any screen capture, so I'm just gonna have to rely on the camera screen. Uh, as in the last video, 54 and uh, 55 are going bad, I guess you'd say 50, but 55 is the worst. And the battery, battery voltage is 2.9 volts on that cell with 3.67 volts being the maximum. Now, my primary concern is, well, since midnight last night, so five and a half hours, we've used six and a half kilowatt hours of energy from the batteries. We haven't charged anything yet today. Um, and we're pulling about 1200 watts constantly. That's like a base load. So 25 amps from the batteries, 24 amps from the batteries. So that's a that's a fairly heavy load on the batteries and the batteries are at 49 volts, 49 and a quarter volts. Uh, temperature's 28 degrees. And we've taken out 385 amp hours. Now that figure worries me a little bit um, because I would class this as a 600 amp hour battery. Um, if you work out the maths on all the stuff that I've done, it's about 600 amp hours. Um, now, another thing to point out though, even if I didn't have this screen on and it was turned off, if I walked into either of my battery sheds and even just laid my eyes on my battery bank, you would see all these green lights flashing until you went down here. And then of course the Batrium long ones are in an arid state. So there is, with the long ones attached to the cells, there you can see instantly that there's a problem. Um, so I don't even, I don't even need to know, I don't even need to see this screen. I don't even have, a, have to have a screen attached to my Batrim um, BMS. I can see there's a problem, which I kind of love. And there's another Batrim plug. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge. The, this is going to be like a four-part series, I guess. I'll charge the batteries today, which will take a good few hours, but what I'll do is I will use my pips. What I'll do is use my pips and I'll turn them all the way up and then I'll use my PCM60X, PCM60X, which is not really charging at all um, because the sun's not up yet. Uh, no, the sun hasn't cleared the trees yet. So I'll crank those back up, and I think they're 80 amps each, so they'll have 160 amps plus 30 or 40 amps from that, I think. So we'll crank that all the way up. We'll get some heat into these cells and see if we find any weak points. So that'll be test one. Uh, test two will be, um, we'll have to set something up to discharge it, because I'll have to turn the house off and stuff like that. So I guess the best thing to do would be put a Bitcoin miner down here um, tune it so it draws like a thousand watts um, so it's a nice static load over a long period of time and then we have to charge the battery so we'll actually charge the batteries to 4.2 volts which I at the moment charge them to 4.12 so I have to charge them to 4.2 and then balance them there which will take a day or two and then we do a discharge we charge them back up again 
And what we might do is we might do the first discharge at, at 1000 watts. No, that won't work. Maybe we set it up, Bitcoin Miner, up to do 500 watts discharge and then do a full discharge on the batteries. And then I'll use my new DC to DC converter and then I can hook in um, the DC into here so it actually goes through my shunt turn the inverters off and then do a D DC direct DC load test Bitcoin mining that might be an interesting um, figure to work out so tubers if you've got any other ideas on what I can do within this test I'd definitely be keen to hear them I don't know what else, I don't I don't know what else to do in this test but I figured it was a good opportunity to really get some I don't think it's going to be accurate data but it's certainly going to be you know a result at the end of it so tubers thank you very much for tuning in let's get this charging up cheers